Stocks higher after Fed Chair Jay Powell announced the Fed has cut interest rates for the third straight meeting. Joining us now to discuss is Keith Lerner, SunTrust's chief market strategist. Keith, we are allowing you on the program today on a day when the market is higher. Um, what would you make of Powell's comments and I guess that moment at which sentiment really turned during the meeting when he pretty much said, forget about a rate hike. Um, we're not even thinking about that at all. It feels like that has gotten the market excited today. That's right, and uh, thanks, Miles. This is twice in a row I've been in, on the show when the market's up, which is breaking the historical trend. That we've had historically. Um, but no, I think the, the, today you just call it the Powell pause. I, I mean, I think the, the biggest surprise to me is just how definitive and how clear he was uh, talking about that the Fed is uh, on, on, on hold here and that there will, be, there will have to be a material change for them uh, to cut rates again. But as you mentioned, I think the market's okay with that because they also said we're not raising rates for a long time. And at the end of the day, if the economy is kind of chugging along, grinding along here on a relative basis, stocks look uh, look like the place to be on a, on a relative basis. So, Keith, not only are you here on an up day, but the S&P 500 you know, back at record highs. I'm mm -hmm. curious if you're looking out at this market right now, it, the story has changed a lot in just the last two months where it used to be a recession is coming. And now what seems to be in vogue is the market melt up coming. Do you mm -hmm. buy this idea that we could be seeing a market melt up soon? Well, the first thing, um, you know, we've been relatively positive, especially during the, the decline. And what we're seeing right now is we've talked a lot about on this show, the carousel of concerns. That's flipped to be the carousel of catalyst as a lot of these concerns as far as China, Brexit, recession fears have receded as provided uh, fuel for the market. So answering your question more directly, we still think the weight of the evidence is still higher over the next 12 months, but I also don't want to be complacent and say it's going to just be a straight up move. We have been looking for a fourth quarter, quarter rally, likely have further to go, but just uh, as far as a melt up, that may be a little bit premature. Yeah, Keith, so I was going to ask you about the catalyst, and can you be a little bit more specific? I mean, it sounds like you have to be referring to things like Brexit, China trade, et cetera. I mean, I don't see much on the domestic front that would say uh, spur an earnings boom, for instance. Correct. Well, what I, so again, our main theme in this year was the carousel of concerns. And we yeah. always talk about how things in the market isn't about good or bad. It's all relative to expectations. And people were, were priced for a worse outcome with China. That's ease. They were uh, braced for a worse earnings season. We have the beat rates among the highest we've seen in several years now in the earnings season. Uh, and also, I think one thing that's a little bit underreported, I think the global economy or the market is sniffing out that the global economy is stabilizing after all the stimulus. And mm -hmm. I think What's going to be important as we move away from this meeting uh, today with the Fed, this week we have really two important numbers to keep an eye on. Uh, we've got China's manufacturing data overnight. And then on, on Friday, yes, we have the employment report, but we also have the ISM number, which was really a week last month and caused a lot of angst. But our, our base case is that overall, as we go through the end of the year, we'll start to see that stabilization in global growth. All right. Keith Lerner is the chief market strategist at SunTrust. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.